Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Coach PK, Hoop Masters, Basketball Hoop Masters TV, man. And, you know, usually all the videos that we do, for the most part, we do topic. We do talk, you know, about topics that are going on in the game of basketball, but we do mostly training videos, man. But I had to make a video today, man. I'm sure as all you have heard, uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, third year on daughter, were killed in a helicopter crash today. Probably the saddest day in history of basketball. I'm um, just such a just sad, sad situation, man, and um, on so many different levels. Um, you know, I think we can look at him as a basketball player and take a lot from his career, um, his attitude, his work ethic, his relentlessness, his, his self-belief and his desire to win, his desire to be great. Um, he epitomized um, what hard work and competitiveness is and, and what the end result was. Um, he truly worked. Um, he outworked the competition to be the greatest. And uh, he's definitely, you know, top five dead or alive um, all time in the game of basketball. And he gave so much back to the game. He, he was he, he treated a game with a purity that we just don't see anymore before social media and all these things. And he was about just getting the gym, blood, sweat and tears and trying to chase, chase, chase Jordan, chase great, chase being the greatest of all time. And, you know, he he. You can argue about who's better, Jim, Jordan, LeBron, or whoever, but, you know, he got five rings. Um, and, you know, if he, he's on the Mount Rushmore, the top five players to ever play the game. Uh, but what I really want to talk about was the this this thing, man, that is so much more important than game of basketball, and it's really about where you will spend eternity for, where you spend an eternity at, excuse me. Uh, when you die, um, where will you? When you die, that's when your life really ends, all right? Because eternity is forever, and and when you die, um, you no longer are, are are part of this world. And if you if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, um, the Bible says that you are uh, damned to 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 hell. And you know, I would think a lot of folks don't like to hear that or talk about it. Um, but for me, Jesus Christ is the motivation for why I train and why I do what I do using the game of basketball as a uh, way to bless others, um, to minister to others. I'm um, using the, the game that God has blessed me with. Use talent he's blessing me with to be a blessing to others' lives because the game can be so transformative. Uh, but you have to realize that we all have to stand before God one day. And, you know, he's not going to ask Kobe about his five rings or his his, his scoring titles or, or anything like that. It's going to be simply like, did you know, uh, did you know me? We part of the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, I hope and pray. I don't know uh, many times when a lot of celebrities die, especially entertainers and rappers. Um, they live a lifestyle that obviously showed that, unfortunately, many of them weren't, um, you know, down with God, a part of the kingdom. Um, but I can't make a judgment on COVID because there's not enough evidence. I don't really know. Um, but I hope he did because that's the most important thing. That's more important how many points you score, how many rings you win. If they call you to go, it doesn't matter. None of that matters because your life can be taken to you from you so quick. Prom uh, tomorrow's not promised to any of us, any of us. The next minute is not promised to any, any of us. So I hope that with, with Kobe Bryant's passing, we take from it not only um, what he meant to basketball and to hard work, but we also we take time to reflect on our own lives. And if we die tomorrow, Will we spend our eternity with, with Christ or not? That's the that's that's the most important and only thing that really, really, truly matters is is if you have a personal relationship with, with Jesus Christ. And then you can be back in relationship with God. Without that relationship, you cannot spend eternity with God in the kingdom. And it doesn't matter who you are, Kobe, Jordan, LeBron, it doesn't matter. So that's the message that I want to give today. And I know it's a different message than what you usually get on here. Um, but I hope um, I hope I touch someone's heart. And I hope this situation touches your heart and, and really gets you to think about those things that's just of the utmost importance. You know, RIP to the great Kobe Bryant. RIP to his, his daughter who's going to follow in his footsteps. And she was already becoming a great player. RIP to the other folks who lost their lives. Condolences and, and, and mercy and grace and comfort to the families. And uh, he was the greatest. He was the greatest. All right. But trust Jesus. All right. That's the most important thing. Peace.